Hi there. So where we stopped last time was you needed to finish the background, which would be a lighter color just above her shoulders and a darker color um, midway through the neck down to the bottom of the paper. Um, after you've colored that or painted that in, make sure that all the neck um, was painted. That's another thing that I did to catch up. And then what we're going to be doing is using Pentel oil pastels. Um, I recommend you have like a little uh, paper towel or cloth to wipe, wipe your pastels off on and also keep your fingers clean. Um, I've chosen some pastel colors already that I want to use on my background and um, make sure that you finished all your painting first and let it dry before you get started. So I decided I was going to paint in the white squares um, that were the remainder from last week. Um, next to the purple, I decided to add another color into it. So I'm using the oil pastels to add a design to parts of the face, head, neck, um, uh, with um, designs. So and we're gonna make the design simple, um, just some straight lines uh, and dashed lines and, um, and dots. And you can have a variety of different size dots, large, medium, and small. What I've done is I've pulled out some oil pastels from my box. Um, I have a nice assortment, but if you don't, that's okay. Um, just use whatever colors that you're happy with. Clean the ends like I did with this one. I um, just pulled the paper off and then kind of cleaned with my paper towel just so that it doesn't have any other color on it when I add it to parts of um, my painting. So I'm going to choose uh, some colors and then I'm going to get started. I'm going to start working just with the headdress, then work my way down to the face and then the neck. We're not going to be doing anything to the background this week. Next week will be our final part to this project and we're going to be making stamps. Um, and I'll explain uh, what we're going to be using and um, how to do it. Okay, so let's just focus on her. And then next week we'll focus on the bottom and then finish it off. So what you can do with whatever color you choose is then start to perhaps add some lines throughout your headdress and I'm just kind of choosing to kind of add some color to my purple. I'm using white and with the oil pastel you need to add a little bit of pressure to it because if you don't it'll be too light and you want it to have a nice thickness and painterly quality so I'm just using, you know, pieces that I've had for a while. I've had this box of pastels for quite a while. And you might want to go back in later. Um, I think once you've done your piece, then um, you can make some final decisions as to perhaps add more to it. As you can see, you know, you can still see the purple, but I'm just continuing on here with some white. You could use any color. You might want to just do dots in the pattern, which would be fine too. I just wanted this to pop out a little bit more, so I'm adding the white to my tie and the larger part of the headdress wrapped around her head. And the thing with using the oil pastels, you still want to see a little bit of the color show through. Um, and we're not, we're covering some parts of this piece. Okay, then 
um, set that color aside and then start thinking of some other colors that you want to introduce into her, uh, her uh, forehead. So you could also do some kind of just wavy lines. Now you have to kind of play with the colors because one color and another might be too close to each other so you won't see it as much. Maybe that was a choice that you wanted to make with your piece. So there aren't any wrong ways to do this. Some you may want to kind of do all right, it's a simple pattern. Maybe just go in another part of her forehead. One color will definitely pop up more than another color will when you're working this way. So you want to see the colors. And hopefully enhance it with a color on top of another. And I'm doing one pattern on one side and a completely different one on the other side. You could just add a little bit of color, not completely covering the entire color in the background, like just a little bit of blue here on the green. And you may want to go back and forth with some of the same colors. The white definitely makes that area pop. And it's completely okay to think about what you're doing. Give it some thought, kind of visualize one color with another. And this one's a little dirty, so I'm just wiping it and just using the tip of my fingernail and peeling away the paper and then just kind of cleaning it a little bit from another color that might have gotten on it. Now, the... Um, Oil pastel has more oil than crayons do, and they're more cream. They're a lot more creamy, and um, have just a wonderful quality about them. They're very versatile, and I like using them. In some areas, you may not want to add a design, and that's okay. It doesn't have to have patterns in every section. I mean, just don't do one or two, move it around. And you can see it's really um, makes a difference when you accompany it with another color on top. And some colors might be very close to the same value. And if you don't press hard, you can see through the color um, a little bit more. Some areas you may just want to outline instead of add patterns to it.
Okay, and once you're done with the face and the headdress, look at it and see if there's any more that you wanna to add to it. Um, maybe part of it isn't showing up, so you may wanna add another color into a section to kind of just make it appear um, brighter. If what else you could add to it. Maybe you want to kind of just add a little bit more to a color that you've added on the headdress. maybe work in some of the same color family just have a range of values light dark even medium Alright, the last part is the neck. Again, we're going to do the same thing that we did with um, the face and the headdress. So start kind of picking the colors you want to you want to see with another color. Maybe color some sections of it, not all of it. And then I have just one more Oops. section, sorry. <laughs> the rest of this part in. All right. And if you bring a little bit of white with a color, it makes it a lot more luminous. You may want to kind of bring in some more white in some areas. Just um, and make sure if you are doing the white that you kind of clean it a little bit before you use it on another color. I'm 
just kind of adding a little bit more to parts of the face just to kind of play with it a little bit more. Okay, so that's that for now. So for next week, what we're going to be needing is we're going to be using um, and making our own stamps for the background of our piece to finish it off. So what I recommend you do is get like a thicker piece of cardboard for next week um, and then a thinner piece. So I've got, you know, a thinner and thicker piece of cardboard so you want to feel the difference okay and then um, probably some temper paint um, we will use for the background so um, that's this uh, that's it for today and next week we'll be doing the background make sure that you collect your cardboard pieces and then you'll need a pretty firm glue. I like to use this tacky glue. I think it's a great product. And if you don't have that, you can still use Elmer's glue, which is just fine. And then we will need scissors and um, then we'll be all set for our printmaking project. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.